Okay guys, it's time for another one of these Habs news update thingamajiggies and in today's jiggy we got quite a bit of ground to cover here. It's been a while, hasn't it? Chris Weidman got signed, Britt Kulak is on the missing list in Edmonton, apparently he's been jogging back towards Montreal Forest Gump style, Carey Price won a trophy, a trophy. So let's get right down to it. But first, before we begin, let me get some of these juicy Arbor Jakai clips right out of the way because I'm a big fan of his. And a couple of nights ago, okay, Hamilton fans, they were nervous. They thought all Arby was going to be suspended for a nasty hit he threw the game before. But guess what? I guess the OHL decided to let this one slide. Because they're probably sick of suspending him already. He doesn't learn shit, but that doesn't matter because we still love him. He answers the bell right off the opening face-off and drops this parrot guy like he's some kind of a ketchup sandwich. Then he riles up the crowd, Arby style. Oh yeah, and then he goes on and scores an absolute beauty of a goal to cap this one off. And so help me God, he may not be the most talented prospect the Canadians have right now, but he's my guy, okay? I don't care about any of that. Arby is the man. End of story. Moving on! Mr. Carey Price has won the Masterton Trophy. Not too shabby. So, what the hell is it? Well, according to caveman Elliot Friedman, this one goes out to the player who shows the most perseverance, sportsmanship, and dedication to hockey, as voted by the PHWA. It's cute. Good for Carey. Now as for his future with the team, guess what? It still remains uncertain, because of course it does. Poor old Kent Hughes doesn't seem to have an answer yet. He's clearly stressed out, I mean just look at him, he's already lost the last two hairs he had left on his head. Thanks a lot Price. And uh, the latest Price news that we have is from former Habs goaltending coach Stefan Waite who still has a strong friendship with Price to this day. Wade says that Price is going to try and do everything possible to return to action, but he's possibly beginning to realize that this is not going to happen. <sighs> Again, it doesn't sound promising. And when Price came back at the end of the season, it, uh, it almost felt forced, you know what I mean? But anyway, I got a feeling that we still have to wait quite a while before we get a definitive answer. Next up, we got a couple of signings to go through. The first one on the list here is Marie Philippe Poulain. She's been hired as a player development consultant. She's probably going to spend a lot of time dealing with the pups, you know? And her first order of business is probably going to be to tie Logan Mayu to a chair and burn his nipples with a matchstick. Now we also got Chris Weidman who is set to become an unrestricted free agent this summer. He's been re-signed by the Montreal Canadiens to a two-year contract. So let's pry open his wallet here and see what we got. He's going to be making 750000 bucks next season and 775000 bucks the year after. This is a fairly cheap deal and I'm a big fan of it. Let me tell you why. With good old Jeffrey Petrie possibly on the move. The Canadians, they've got a lot of very young defensemen trying to break into the league and crack the lineup. And Weidman, he knows his role, okay? He's going to be completely fine if he has to sit out a few games. He's not going to complain because he just seems genuinely happy to be part of this team. Weidman earned my respect last year when he stepped up to the plate a couple of times when it seemed like nobody else would. Moving on, Joshua Wawa's playoffs in the QMJHL are now over, and this guy has been summoned by the Laval Rocket. He played his first game of the playoffs the other night, and from what I've heard, he didn't look too bad, so keep an eye on Wawa, guys. I mean, right now, this guy's one of the most promising young forward prospects the Canadians have. He's looked like a complete steal thus far, but still, okay, we gotta tone it down a little bit, until this guy makes some noise at the next level. Because sometimes it feels like friggin' Tom Kostopoulos can score 100 points in the queue. Anyway, next up, 
let's talk about coaching. Maritain St. Louis has been signed. I'm sure you guys are all aware of this already. And while his job may be secure, temporarily of course, a lot of other coaches around the league are beginning to get tossed to the curb. Most shockingly, Brucey e. Pooh Cassidy. This definitely has a ripple effect around the league. Teams are beginning to panic now and look for a new face to throw behind the bench. And apparently the Chicago Blackhawks have been kicking the tars on Luke Richardson. They requested permission to speak with him. I'm sure Hughes and Gordon said go ahead. So who knows? Maybe Richardson finds himself with a new job as a head coach. And as much as I like him behind the Canadiens bench, I'd be happy for him because I think he deserves it. In other news, the Edmonton Oilers, who clearly don't have a goaltending problem, have been eliminated from the playoffs. Can you believe it? Because I can believe it. And former Montreal Canadian Britt Kulak is set to become an unrestricted free agent. And guess what? Okay, take a wild guess. Kool-Aid man is already thinking about Montreal. Kulak would say, quote, There's definitely a chance that I'll be back in Montreal. I'll definitely think about it. I loved my time with the Canadians from day one. I was treated with class. I felt really special to be a part of this organization. They are definitely moving in the right direction. I had time to meet with the new management before the deal, and I think they're gonna do a great job. So that's the scoop on Kulak. He wants to come back. But the real question is, does Kent Hughes see Britt Kulak as a, you know, part of the future right now? With Chris Weidman already signed now, and plenty of young defensemen sniffing out a roster spot, is there really a spot for Kulak right now? I don't know. I like him, but personally, I just don't see it happening. <sighs> anyway, guys, that does it for this video. I'd like to thank everybody for all the kind words over the past couple of weeks, and hey, I'll see you next time.